What's going on everybody? It's Paul We're coming at you with another ride home review and yes, I know I'm not actually riding while I'm reviewing but I promised you a special guest and it's hard to do that in the car the way I have this set up. So the special guest today and um, today's movie is All Eyes on Me. So let's bring in this special guest. It is He Malik. found a black guy. He, Malik from <laughs> Lansing Maid. How about that? Yeah. So, so uh, Talk about Lansing Made real quick. Okay, what is Lansing La Made? Lansing Made, LansingMade.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that right there, YouTube. We find all the fun that's happening in Metro Lansing, so the Tri-County area. We're ice. We're cool as ice, and we talk about all the cool stuff we do in this area. Yeah, LansingMade.com. Awesome. So, we watched All Eyes on Me, uh, filmed by Benny Boom, who is typically a music video director, I believe. Uh, so what were your thoughts? What were your initial thoughts about about this movie? It didn't get really good reviews. What what is your review, Mr. Malik? Um highly anticipated movie, twenty year anniversary of uh Tupac's death. So, you know, anybody that grew up and knows about like music history uh would would, would be anticipatory of this movie. <laughs> and understanding how movie goes, this is a snapshot of a person's life. It's not a biopic, um, it's not 20 hours long because you know 25 years is a long time to do a lot of stuff but um uh yeah what did i say <laughs> it's pretty good for a lifetime movie <laughs> mm, uh, um like i said that i'm not sure that that's but, a compliment but but i mean it wasn't horrible um but i'm i mean it was the storyline was uh decent uh i was kind of confused at some of the choices that they made and they uh, the direction of the movie, not necessarily the director, but the direction of the movie and how they put the pieces together um, without giving too much away. I don't think it really does, but like it's, it's like you're here and then you're there. So it's like a narration of the story as it's happening. And I was kind of confused as to why they didn't just do the, do the story. Like, I, I think that kind of took away from the piece a little bit. Do you know what I mean when they kept going to prison? And yeah, I doing? agree. I thought I didn't understand the device of using the interview. I just didn't understand that. Yeah. It didn't make sense to me because all of a sudden it ended. And then, oh, we're in present day. So yeah, it, it just was, went uh, away. It was just, uh, I personally thought that other than pieces of the movie where the soundtrack was good they picked some good yep, good yep, pieces yep, good pieces yep, um, yep. i thought the cinematography was on point the acting oh there's some rough spots there were some real rough spots in there they had some good actors that did a good job um especially uh I'm missing her name right now, but she plays on The Walking Dead, one of my favorite characters. She did well. The guy who played Tupac did well. Uh, the girl. So it was interesting, like, so, I, you but... see a lot of no-name people intermingled with, like, well-known people. If you watch The Walking Dead, I don't, but whatever. Yeah. Um, so, like, you, you, you were kind of in and out. It was like this in and out, like, you're all in, yeah. and then all of a sudden you're like, uh, what's happening? And then, like, you're all in. So, like, like as a whole, like, I'd see the piece. Like I'm not discounting the piece as a as as a snapshot of a person's yeah, life, yeah. but you got to give it you got to give it you you got to kind of let some things go. Yeah, you have to let some things go. Yeah, I thought I thought so, yeah I thought some of the direction was a little was a little off, and so you know it was just one of those. One there of those. was like what they like the director for whatever reason or editing whoever made the decision like there were some pieces where you're like why are you doing this like some slow-mo stuff like if you're gonna make a music video make a music video if you're gonna make a movie make a movie if you're gonna be stylistic like the dude that did um that uh romeo and juliet with um leonardo ba DiCaprio, Baz Luhrmann. that that guy and 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 what's the the uh, the hip-hop thing um 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 the get down yes like if you're gonna do something stylistically then go all in man <laughs> but if you just gonna touch it then it just kind of goes why did you do that like yeah. why am i agreed Agreed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. You made the right point. Music video, be a music video. If you want to be a movie, be a movie. But that's what we got for this week. <laughs> if you like the ballet, you'll have to check out Lansing Made a little bit more doing, with Malik. Right. And so, oh, so thanks. yeah. So check us out, Ride Home Reviews. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. And uh, we'll see Lansing you next time. Out. All right, see ya.